Hello everybody, my name is Mind and welcome back to the Air Team Server Showcase series. This is episode 10 and we're taking a look at a few more builds on the Air Team server from the past couple of weeks. So let's just jump right into this one. We're going to be taking a look at his 2021 Formula 1 cars and they are absolutely massive. These are in 10 to 1 scale, so that means for every meter in real life, we're doing 10 blocks in game which means they're absolutely ginormous. So let's take a look around these things because they look really, really cool. We've got a blank one right here and a modified Red Bull one back there. I'm pretty sure it's modified because I had looked around it just a little bit to check out some of the arrow on it and the arrow looked just a tad bit different from the base one. So I have a feeling it might be just that bit different. Anyway. So in the front, you of course have the front wing, very nice and detailed, loads and loads of stuff on the front, uh, or aero devices. Then you have the rake that comes under the bottom to um, push air underneath the floor of the car and through all of the aero devices right here. The suspension and the steering, uh, that will all go through here. And then your wheels marked out there. I find it interesting that he did the wheels in this dark oak plank block instead of a black wool block or one of the other blacks ones that we have stairs in. Anyway, coming backwards, you have, I believe these are pitot tubes at the very front to get the uh, speed of the car. You also have the brake discs right there, looking very, very cool. Coming along, more of the normal stuff. You have the halo right there. The mirrors. These mirrors actually seem rather large for an F1 car. Normally I suspect they're a little bit smaller and a little bit lower, but do look cool. Side pods right here, along with the air intakes. Very small. These air intakes look like they're Mercedes styled. Although Red Bull has transitioned in the past year or so to having smaller air intakes, like most of the fields done, they've all followed after the Mercedes going, oh, Mercedes is faster than us, let's copy some of the things that they're doing. Anyway, continuing along past the side pods, you're going to have the engine on the inside, although I don't believe he has that modeled. You also have another air intake right here for the engine. Hasn't done the cockpit, but you can see all the way and how far it does actually reach. Continuing along, you of course have the reduced, thanks to 21, 2021 new regulations, the reduced uh, floor where they cut out basically this little triangular triangular area and it effect, affected everyone with the um, lower rake cars while the higher rake cars like the Red Bull were a bit better at dealing with the changes to the floor. Coming along here, you have the drive that'll go through here. The why I've forgotten the name of this. I even I was even at one point when I was younger making a video on what these were. Oh, the lights for the ERS, or yeah, when the energy recovery system is being deployed, or when you're in adverse wet conditions. Those are to notify the drivers behind. You also have to have the exhaust right here, I believe, right above the light, along with the massive diffusers, which will get even bigger in 2022 when the new regulations come out. Those are going to look super cool, and I'm really going to enjoy the way the cars look without all the aero on them and more of the underfloor stuff, because I think the safety equipment now is able to deal with all of this downforce being created by the ground effect. Anyway, you have your rear wheels. They're, of course, bigger on Formula One cars. More grip when uh, for traction. And then you also have a bit of the shark fin right here. Depending on which car you're on in the field, you may have more or less of it. But it's still a shark fin. Well, technically, I don't think it's actually considered that anymore because they got rid of that with the regulation changes like two or three years ago. They used to have a shark fin that would lock, go all the way, but it's super small now. It just takes this little curve. And you also have the rear wing and some aero devices along it. 
cutouts everywhere because that's what F1 teams do now is just mess with the airflow that comes off the rear wing and then that's basically it for this one and we can take a look at the Red Bull now this Red Bull basically the same car as over here sorry I didn't mean to fling it like that anyway basically same car uh, with a few minor differences to the aero setup I believe now it's mostly to do with the um, shark fin right here although actually I don't think it's that different I think it's just block choice that's made a difference anyway you can take a look at the front of course you have the two red bulls on either side and then the big one on the nose you're gonna have more of the same pewter tubes everything else is basically the same but it's in red and blue now this will be the car that Max Verstappen drives to his first world drivers title that's right I'm gonna call it early now I do like Lewis Hamilton because of course he's English and so that's who technically I should support along with the one and only Lando Norris and George Russell. So I would prefer to see Lewis Hamilton and I would think it's cool to see him win an 8th world drivers title. However, I think the Red Bull is just simply faster this year and it looks quite a bit better and I think we saw after the steering in an Austrian Grand Prix that it's just faster at this point in the season. Now who knows what that means for next year though, did Red Bull spend too much developing this car to get faster than the Mercedes, as Mercedes just focused entirely on 2022. We'll find out next year. Anyway, let's take a look around this thing. You've got the Red Bull text along the side, all of the uh, ads and logos for the various sponsors are everywhere. This will be the tag Hoyer Hewer, one of the two. I think they've also got Rolex as a sponsor somewhere. I believe this will be Max Verstappen's number right there. And then you have the Honda text. This used to say Aston Martin, but of course Aston Martin became its own racing team in F1. So now they get their, had to get rid of the giant Aston Martin logo, which I kind of miss. I always liked the way it looked on the Red Bull. but. They had to get rid of that, so now it just says Honda, who of course are the engine suppliers for the Red Bull. Anyway, that's basically it for this amazing, outstanding Red Bull F1 car. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the second thing, which is going to be Nyko's 579's Boeing 727. This thing is tremendous, and I love it a lot. Now, I think this is 3 to 1, and this is a 727-200, I believe, and an American Airlines livery. Now, at the front, of course, you have the nose. I think he's done an excellent job on the nose. You have the layering, pretty simple stuff. The red stripe and the white stripe that runs along right above the blue that comes out right behind the cockpit. You have the eyebrows right there, the overhead windows in the, the cockpit cockpit is marked out very nicely and on the older generation aircraft you of course had the uh, black lines that sort of lead off of the cockpit I believe that was to reflect the sun batter that way it wouldn't get in the pilot's eyes someone's gonna have to fact check me on that anyway let's continue around so you have the R1 and L1 doors on either side and the nose gear down here I think it's pretty nice you of course have just the right the red line there then a little bit of detail on the fuselage you have this very nice wing that runs along here with a darker section marked out on the underside you also have flat track fairings and then the uh, navigation lights that are red and green on either side overwing exits right here and because this is the longer 77, I believe it is, right? You have the two overwing exits right here. You also have the American text on the top and a bit more detail right there. R2 and L2 doors back here, right in front of the three engines on either side, or basically on almost every side except the bottom of the aircraft. Anyway, the engines look really nice, and you of course have the one that's mounted on the tail of the aircraft that goes in. He's not modeled it out there, but, because he's too lazy as he says, but I think it looks very, very nice. 
American Airlines text on the fuselage along with the horizontal and vertical stabilizers. Now I think he could have maybe done a bit of a better job with this exhaust. It looks to me like it's not necessarily the perfect shape, but I think he still did a nice try. Anyway, he's got sort of the exhaust modeled out on the inside, and other than that, it looks pretty good. So we can actually take a look on the interior, and we can do that by going up the aft staircase that we've seen on other aircraft before in server showcases, mostly the DC-9 and the A's, but now we're taking a look at it on the 727. So you come up those stairs, now this is going to be a bit larger, so maybe I need to set up my field of view a bit higher, but other than that, it'll look pretty cool. So in the back, you have what appear to be a bit of a galley and jump seats, along with the rear doors. You've got all economy class seating running along here. Up to the front, more of that. I guess it was only a one class layout for the 727 on American at the time. You have a bit of a galley right here and into the cockpit. Jump seat right here. Flight engineer will be right here. And if you checked out the 707 livery of the week, you'll know that the flight engineer is basically done at this point. Anyway, pilot seats right here. Uh, captains and first officers. You've got a bit of the throttle quadrant right there and some of the other devices uh, and gauges used on the 727 because of course the 727 was an analog flight deck not any of these glass flight decks that you see nowadays so you would have had to know how to use all of the cool different features on the 727. Anyway with that done that'll basically conclude it anyway my name is Mind I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Anfield stream per usual well not per usual I've been missing that a bit stuff happens anyway my name is Mind Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.